Laura here. Today I am going to do a very late update on final update on my team project pen. So the hashtag team project pen was made by the girls from the news and I'll put all their details down below so you can catch up on what they were doing. Just dropping my project pen stuff on the floor now. <laughs> so um, because I had a month off in January from YouTube and social media in general really. I'm a little behind in what I'm doing. So I'm finally getting around to doing my update on my team project pen. So let's go over December and that's as far as we're going and then I'll do a little bit of a final thoughts update on the whole team project pen because it was the first time I'd ever done a whole year project pan and before that I'd only done one other project pan it was just a short one that I made up myself so this was the first time that I did an organized one I'm having trouble with my connection to my camera and my phone for some reason it's going off so I've turned the phone off and turned it on again hopefully things will work so the first thing on my list was primer and I was using the Australis primer which I wasn't sure was doing anything and I only used it 12 times over December and I've still got some left in this tiny bottle because I got distracted with my Pretty Fresh Colourpop one which you can see I have actually used tons of because I'm enjoying this one for the summer. So <laughs> this one I haven't finished because I was using something else. <laughs> and my foundation, my Thin Lizzy Flawless Complexion Foundation I only used four times <laughs> over the last month and you can see how far down it is because this this was pretty full it was up to here I put the marks on opposite sides that was really smart hang on there you go yeah you can see them so I was up to that first line the uh, end of November and I was only up to here I didn't use very much because again I got distracted with my pretty fresh one from Colourpop which is down to here now and I've been mixing it with my L'Oreal Glam Beige one so I've been using that for the summer instead which is what I'm wearing today because I just am really enjoying it at the moment so um there's very little left and I could have finished it but I didn't. I was using other things but I will finish that at some point. <laughs> now, concealer. My concealer that has been in this project from the very beginning. I used, hang on, I only used 10 times this month because I was, again, playing with the pretty fresh one from Colourpop. So no I haven't finished these, these are still going. They're nearly finished because if you squeeze them out you can get very, you have to really fold it up and they're both of them are like that, you have to fold them up to get anything out there. There's basically nothing left in there but I'm just getting just enough out to carry on using it. So if you've ever wondered what concealer to get that's gonna last so you don't have to keep buying concealer all the time. This one's really good. <laughs> it lasts forever. And um, I'm still happy with how it works. I um, used that today actually uh, under my eyes and I didn't use my Colourpop one today. So yeah, it's still working fine and I'm, I'm happy with it. And I've been using it for so long I can hardly remember what any other concealer looks like on me anyway. <laughs> so, it's a very good um, get, get your money's worth out of it, is what I'm trying to say. Yeah. So, my CoverGirl Outlast Active Setting Spray. I actually like the setting spray, but I didn't use it that much. I used it eight times <laughs> in December. And so the bottle's pretty full still. I can't see what's in it, but it was full when I started, and it still feels pretty full. So, it lasts well. But I, again, I got distracted with my Pretty Fresh Colourpop one, which you can see I have been using quite a lot, because it was a lot to the top. And um, I've been enjoying this one, so I kind of got distracted in December <laughs> in what I was doing. 
and my Fit Me powder, which I used 13 times over the last month. Oh, well, over December, is now looking like this. And I will put a picture on what it looks like before. So that is going down quite a lot, and like, the rim around here is really thin. So I'm just going to carry on using that until it's finished up. Same with, I'm going to carry on using those until they're eased up. And um, I will need to, I, I will finish this one up, but um, I'll probably carry on using the pretty fresh one for now, because I'm really enjoying it for summer. And my face palette, my OXX Studio Face Palette in Medium. I used the contour 13 times in December. Mm. This is what it's looking like now. And I used the face powder same amount of times, 13 times in December. And that's what the face powder looks like now. So um, I think the contour will last a little bit longer. There's still quite a lot of product in there. But the face powder's... I'm, I'm scraping around the edges now. So there's not that much left and I will just carry on using that until it's all finished and my color tattoo <laughs> and can you guess how many times I use this in December? You're correct, zero. It seemed to be a theme, I just stopped using it. So still, I think it still smells all right, it still comes out and is usable but it's really old now. All of my colour tattoos are really old now. And I'm considering just decluttering them because I obviously just don't use it. <laughs> my designer brand's glitter liner. I used once in December. <laughs> I can still get a little bit out, but it is quite tricky. Like this. You can see actually that there is stuff in the bottle, but it's really hard to get it out. Maybe I need to store the bottle upside down so that the product comes down and I can get it out. I don't know. But um, <laughs> there's something else along with this one that I wouldn't put in a project again because I just don't want to use it consistently enough to use it up. I think if I put it in a project again, it would be like I'm going to use this 10 times and then swap it out for something else rather than trying to use it up because it obviously just doesn't work for me. <laughs> My um, Elizabeth Arden mascaras I am wearing today. I'm wearing both of them. Today. and I only started that at the beginning of December and I used it 11 times in December and um, I'm just going to carry on using these until they're used up or I feel like they're too old which usually is around I usually go for four months rather than three just to, to squeeze a little bit more out this one is getting quite light because it's just a tiny one but there's still plenty of product left in the standing ovation one but this one is the grand entrance one because it was just a sample that one is getting quite light now but um yeah so i'll just carry on using those as i have been my raspberry body shop perfume i have finished that all gone and i used that 13 times in December, that seems to be a pattern after December, I just, after 13 times in December, I just stopped using stuff. <laughs> and my Kate Rimmel lipstick number 43, looks like this now, and so you can see, oh, I will just mark where it was up to, where did I put my hand here? So it started out in the project at the top mark. After November it was the next one and now it's on that one. And according to my list I only used it 14 times but I have used it a few times in January so I have actually used it a few more times than that. So um, interesting over the last, since I put it in the project I actually used a fair amount of it using it on a regular basis, so yeah, 
I, I feel like I have got some chance of using up a lipstick. <laughs> And my lip gloss. So I'd used up my other lip gloss, so I'd put this one in. And I used this all of eight times. <laughs> but I have used it a couple of times over January. I hardly wore makeup in January, so it doesn't, I don't feel like it skewers the results too much. But it was up to there at the end of November, and then end of December. To, or till now it's up to here so I have used it it was full when I started in the project and I am um, because I used up my other one so I used up one and a bit lip glosses over there <laughs> and my revelation powder in lace now there actually is a little bit of progressing on I can actually mark something this time So this has been in the project a long time and it started off way up here and now we're down to about yeah, there. I've moved it around so it's all over the place but it's it's somewhere around <laughs> around there and I used that 13 times <laughs> in December. So this is another product that I think if you like this powder it's a really good um, value for money because it lasts way, it lasts way longer than any other loose powder I have used. So. And that's, uh, and now we're on to eyeshadow palette. Which is what I dropped on the floor, so. was my um, ambitions for the next four was was pretty um I was pretty ambitious what I should do is find my list and so what I thought I was going to do and we can all laugh at me okay I found my list of the goals for my palettes for my pan air palettes <laughs> for the next four I said I was going to pan everything except the dark brown at night what did I pan? I panned one thing and I had to pan one thing. So, um, yeah, I, I didn't achieve my goals there. I was way too ambitious with that one. <laughs> and having two palettes is obviously not a good idea if you're trying to pan stuff, in my opinion. I just don't think this enough. My other pan that power was my beauty when I won from Perfusion. Um, it, it had a bit of a casual tea in that it's falling apart. <laughs> <laughs> that, here's what it's looking like now. So, for this one, my goal was not to use the eyeliner gel products because they were too old. Which, those two, which I, I managed to get that one out and I just threw it away. That one I couldn't get out, so it's still in there and no, I didn't use it. And I wanted to use all the highlighter and all the blush and all the bronzer, which I did. So I did that goal. <laughs> and, and that was pretty easy. The pens weren't that deep and went down quite fast. So on row one, which we're going to call this one, I wanted to finish this one and finish this one, which I did. And I wanted to hit pan on all the rest, which I did not. So I hit pan on this one, but I didn't hit pan on these three. I hardly used these three. I missed all three. <laughs> row two. I said I was going to use them all up except the fourth one, which was this brown, and the last one. So I was just going to hit the pan on those two. Um, I used this one all up. I hit pan on this one, and I hit pan on this one. Hardly used this one, and I did hit pan on this one. <laughs> so I, I did some of the goals, but not all of them. Row three, this one here, I was going to use this one up and 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 use this one up which i did not do got really close with this one i had to pan on these ones i didn't even hit pan on that one this one i just said i was going to hit pan on which i didn't do and row four the pink row i was going to use up the first three so i was going to use up this one and this one and this one which i did not do i had got a tiny little bit of pan in that one you can see it I, 
I nearly finished this one. Still got a bit to go on that one. Didn't hit pen on that one. Did finish this one. Last row. I was going to use up all the silver, which is this one here. And all the purple, which is this one here. And I was just going to hit pan on the rest, except the black. I decided I probably wasn't going to use it. I did use it a little bit. But as you can see, I did not hit pan or use up those other ones. I need to pan on those two. This one I feel like is getting close. This colour surprised me, and I ended up liking it way more than I thought I would. But still pretty. This one I hardly used either. It's kind of a, a weird grey, stony colour. I didn't. I quite like it, but I, I just didn't use it a lot, so I don't use it a lot of silver. So, and then I had it. I was going to use up these three, which are actually the eyebrow ones, but I've just been using them as eyeshadow because they're too light for my eyebrows. This one here is actually a good eyebrow colour for me, which I am wearing today. But um, I, I used up the first one. I was going to use up all three, but I used up this one. I've got a decent size amount of pan on that one, and I've had the... Well, well it's got a dip in it, but I, I haven't used this one for a while. So, so I think I was way over ambitious in my idea of what I can use up in eyeshadow. Uh, I, got, I got a bit um, enthusiastic there, I think. But, what did I learn from doing this? Well, don't put two eyeshadow palettes. In a project <laughs> is what I am. It's going to have to go it because it's getting hot in here. And although I thought it was great getting to really know a palette and know exactly what the colours do and how to put them together, and if I want a particular green that's in this palette or want a particular palette that's in this palette, I know exactly. Okay, that's the palette I go to, and that's what I use. And I used some of this palette today, but I also used my Aha uh Honey and my Techni Bit to Brazil to get the look I wanted. And that's what I prefer to do. I prefer to mix my palettes to get the look I want rather than look at the palette and go, what kind of look can I make out of this palette? I want to make the eyeshadows work for the look that I want rather than the other way around if that makes any sense. Will I continue using this palette? Yes I, I will because there are some particular colours that I really like. I actually really like this brown for my eyebrows and um, there, there aren't many palettes I've discovered that has this particular kind of shade of brown that I own. This, this one here is not too bad, it's a little bit more grey, but it's not too bad, but a lot of the other ones that I have, the browns are too weird for my eyebrows. So I will definitely keep using that one. I really like the pinks and, and the green, kind of these two little rows, I really like them, and I will continue to use them. And um, as I said, this don't really surprise me quite a lot, and I will continue to use that. And there are some other colours in there I will continue to use. How much I will use these browns here, I don't know, because I've got these kind of browns in a lot of palettes. So I'm debating whether I um, do pot stuff that I will use lots or not. I haven't decided yet. I'm very indecisive this year. And with this palette, I really like Peach Baby. It was one of my favourite colours in here, and it has got a good dip in it. And um, Queenie was a really nice brown as well. So I will definitely still be using that as well. So what I thought I'd do is I'd go through my list and show you how much of each thing that I used up. So for primer, how much primer did I use in a year? So I used this one and I used this is the next pore filler and I used the Maybelline Superstay and I used two of the Hydrating Elf ones and two of the pore filling elf ones. So all in all, I used. Oops, I'm trying to hang it on for more, could be fun. 
I used this many primers over a year, so six primers in a year. And whatever I used out of the other bottles that I showed you before, so it's got dust on it, sorry. <laughs> so six primers in a year, so to me that is interesting. And I, I mean I like this one obviously because I used the elf one quite a lot, but um, it obviously didn't last that long if I could go through that many. The Body Shop stuff. This one, which is the one I've been using, is nearly finished. And I used two other ones. So I didn't start using these at the beginning of the year. I think it was more like halfway through the year. So I would say I could go through six of these if I was using them for the whole year. And I really like them and I'm going to continue using them. I did like this one a bit better than this one, but there really wasn't much between it. <laughs> foundations. Now, for foundations, I used two Maybelline Dewy and Smooth, the Maybelline Cushion Foundation, the L'Oreal Infallible Foundation. Now, this one's in a plastic bag because it was messy. I've taken the lids off and things. So I used the Superstay Maybelline. I used two of those in different colours that I mixed together. And nearly used this one, but not quite. So that makes one, two, three, four, five, six, and nearly seven. Seven foundations in a year. So to me, it's quite a lot of foundation because let's just say foundation here is not cheap. Even like just buying Maybelline or something, it's, it's not that cheap. Right, next thing that is on my list. Well, concealer is really easy because I use these two and I still haven't finished. <laughs> so the, the concealer is an easy one to do. <laughs> Setting spray. Setting spray, I used the Milani Make It Last and the Milani Make It Dewy. And some of these were um, experiments. So I, I bought different ones to see which one I like best. I got, I used the NYX Make It Dewy and the NYX Matte. I used the Revolution Sport. And I used the Revolution Pro Fix. And I was using these two in the last month, but these two are nowhere near empty. So for setting spray, I used one, two, three, four, five, six setting sprays in a year. So it's not it's not too bad. It's probably not as many as I thought I might use because I seem to always be using this now. But I, I do admit that the Covergirl one seems to last well. I like this one. I would buy this one again. The rest were okay. I didn't like the Dewey, the Milani Dewey one. It just made my face too Dewey and oily, as you know, I get it all. The rest were just okay. The, um, the Sport Fix was quite nice. I'd probably try that again. But at the moment, Covergirl is definitely on top of my list. So contours. How many contours did I use? So I used up my contour palette. And it had face powders and contours in it. So I used up two contours. I didn't use up this one because it was completely the wrong colour for me. And I don't need another brown eyeshadow to use up. And these ones were more kind of face powder highlights. So I used up those. And of course the one I'm currently using. Don't need a lot of contour in my life, is my conclusion. Because I don't use it up that fast. What else is on my list? Blush. I used this blush. All up. This was my um, NATO blush in peach glow. This one I'd already hit pan on before the start of the year, so it wasn't that hard to use up. And I'd also used up the blush in this palette as well. And those are the only two blush that I actually used up. So um, as we all know, blush doesn't go down that fast. So. I don't need a million blushes. I haven't got highlighter written on my list at the moment, but I did use this highlighter all up. 
haven't got bronzer on my list at the moment either, but I did use this bronzer all up. I didn't use up any other highlighters or bronzers, that's all I used in the year because I was just swapping ones around all the time and doing shot my stash with them instead. Now I've already talked about how I wouldn't put a liquid or a cream eyeshadow or a um, eyeliner topper or something in a project again unless it was just so many uses because there's no way I'm going to use those up. I did finish off a primer but I don't think that was in the project. So how many mascaras did I use? Now not all of these got used up it was more like they got to a point where these are too old and I need to move on. So I'm using the mix factor not the Max Factor, sorry, the Elizabeth Arden ones at the moment. So they're halfway through my use, and I've used the Wet n Wild one was one that worked together, and the one, two, three, four, five. I used up five mascaras. Some of them, like this one, wasn't completely full. I don't think this one was just a tester. But the rest were full when I started them, so probably more mascaras than I thought I would go through if I'm changing them every three months or something. Well, I used to change them every four months, but still quite a few mascaras. Fragrances. Now, I didn't use very many fragrances. I put this one in the project at the beginning, and then when that one was used up, I put these two to use together, and it took me all year just to use these and this one wasn't even full it was only up to here and this one wasn't full either it was up to here and this one was not full either it was it was reasonably full apparently it was up to here you can't really see the mark but just where my finger finger is is where it was up to so i don't need any more than three perfumes a year apparently if that because i don't use them up very fast. <laughs> now, I did have my brow pomade in the project, and um, I didn't use brow pomade all year round. I just used one up, and then I bought another one, used that one up, and then I didn't buy any more. So I used two brow pomades up. One was the Milani, and one was the L'Oreal. The L'Oreal um, one got a bit thick and goopy towards the end. I did like that it had a little brush that you put in it, and the Milani one was fine, but neither of them were like, this is an amazing product, I want to buy it forever, it was just like, oh, yeah, it's alright. <laughs> but I did go through many eyebrow pencils, now I went through one Australis one, because I was trying them out, but the L'Oreal one, not the L'Oreal one, so the LA Girl ones, the LA Girl, shiny slim ones were my favourite ones and the cheapest and they they worked really well for me so I went one, two, three, four, five of those and one of these so six brow pencils all together I have one that I'm using at the moment that hasn't got that much in it so I definitely use these the most but when I was using my brow applied I didn't use as much as that and I have been using my eyeshadow a little bit so if I was just using these I would go through a ton of pencils but this, this is my preferred method because it's just easy. <laughs> eyeliners. How many eyeliners did I go through? I went through two blacks, surprisingly enough, and one brown. Which, okay, you'll see, that's not finished, but I can't sharpen it anymore. It's too hard to use. So, And I used one liquid matte eyeliner. And that was it for eyeliners for the whole year. So I don't need a backlog of black or brown eyeliner because I just don't use that much. Lipstick. Now let's do lip gloss first. So I used up one whole lip gloss. And I think the mark was way up here when I started at the beginning of the year. And it took me all year to get down to there. And I couldn't get the bottom bit out. So I gave up on it. And then I started using this one here. This was 
What was this one? This was a L'Oreal one, I think, that I'd had for years. And this one was a new one that I'd got in um, a box that I didn't want, but that's another story. So, yeah, I've used one in a bit of lip gloss. I, I don't need a whole lot of clear lip gloss. <laughs> Lipsticks. How many lipsticks did I use this year or throw out? Now, I did throw one out. I decluttered this one because it's gone off. So, that was a declutter. But in the actual project, I had these three lipsticks. So I used quite a bit of the Rimmel Cake one, not used up though. I finished the L'Oreal Juicy Pink one. I finished that off and enjoyed it. But when I started the project, there wasn't that much there. And I finished off my Rimmel Stay Matte Lip Colour and Be My Baby. And although it looks like there's still some in the bottom, I can't get any more out, so, and it's sort of thickened up, so I gave up on it. So those ones were in the project, and I finished those. This one I decluttered. This one was in my purse, so, although there is some that you could scrape out, because it's in my purse, I just want something quick that I can put on when I'm out and about. So I'm pulling that one down as well, I'm throwing that one out. And because it's been in my purse, it gets hot in the car and stuff, so I feel like these ones that I keep in my purse as a permanent have a shorter lifespan <laughs> so all in all four lip products for the year I don't need many lip products for the year powders now I used one elf high definition under eye setting powder all up I used pressed powder all up and I used this much of another pressed powder. So my goal was to go down in pressed powders. So now in pressed powders I've got, I've still got one of these. I've got my Reserve Your Cabana and Wet n Wild. And I've got this one, but I'm not sure about this one. I think it's kind of, it's called the Peach Powder Brighten Up Essence. And it's just peach. I don't think I can use it. Every time I put it on, I think, no, this doesn't look quite right. So, I'll probably end up decluttering it. Now, I didn't have any loose powders in there, so I obviously did start the... I'm very organised, aren't I? <laughs> I've lost it. <laughs> Where did I put it? A Revolution lace one. You know what it looks like if you've been watching this video. <laughs> I obviously did start it beginning of the year for that and um, I never used it up so I never had to use another one but I know when I've been using these ones these these size pots these goes down fairly fast and if I had been using these size pots I would have gone through more pots of loose powder but the revolution lace one I just lasted for ages and I never had to re-buy so cool Anything else? Oh, did I miss a... I missed one. I missed a setting spray. So whatever total I did on the setting spray, add one. <laughs> so my conclusions for the year of project planning. So what are my conclusions for project planning? Um, I did enjoy doing project planning for the year. And the reason why I wanted to do a project pan is because I wanted to see how much of products I was actually using so I don't overspend and stuff. Obviously, I don't need to buy a whole lot of some things and some things I don't have to worry about putting in a project pan, like setting spray. Seems to go fairly fast. Don't need to keep buying, putting that in a project all the time. Um, Mascara, I don't feel like I need to put in a project all the time, but it was handy for figuring out how long I'd actually get it open. <laughs> so it's, otherwise, I wouldn't keep track, but I guess I could just I could write the date on the thing when I brought it, when I, when I opened it. <laughs> I learnt that doing glittery toppers and cream eye stuff doesn't suit me for a project pan because I'm never going to use it up. I would put pressed powders in project pans because it makes me 
use them up for, because I haven't. I don't need more than one pressed powder at a time. I don't change my pressed powder that often. So. The other thing that I think bronzer, oh, not bronzer, sorry, um, contour. I don't need a whole lot of contour at a time. Just one, maybe a backup or something, because. It's not something I get excited about using up, it's just like using or changing around, I mean. Like, I'm just like, oh yeah, I'll just use the same one until it's all used up, it's fine. <laughs> lipsticks. I think I would put lipstick in a project pan again, because um, especially like the nude lipsticks that I use all the time, like I've got another one here that I'm using as well, so it's a Kate Morrell one, it's a nudie colour. But I don't want like my lipsticks to go off and I've got quite a few nudes because I wear nudes more than bright colours. So I would cycle through my nude lipsticks. So I just ended up with like an apricot nude and a pink nude and a brown nude. That's that's all I need in nudes. And um, I have a few that fit into those categories. I have more than one in those categories. Loose. Oh, here it is. Oh, I I was right in front of me. So, um, so loose powders, loose face powders. I don't feel like I need a backlog of loose face powders. I just need whatever I'm using and possibly one so that if I run out, I don't have a problem. But if it's this one, it's not going to run out in any hurry. So, judging by how I use this one, I've still got like another year worth of loose powders. So I don't need any more. And like I said before, concealers. I don't need to buy lots of concealers because I was thinking, oh, I'll use these two up. And then I've got some others to cycle through. I never got to cycle through any others because I never used them up. So I will be using those up. When these ones are funny empty, <laughs> I don't need to buy any more until I get down to my last one and it's nearly empty. Then I can buy another one because I don't feel like I need tons of concealer. <laughs> um, things like highlighter and blush, bronzer to a certain degree. I sort of decided with bronzer because I only used that one bronzer up that was in the palette, in my eye palette. And in here, I only used that one completely up. And the rest, I was just cycling through them. But I sort of, I feel like I just need a summer bronzer and a winter bronzer and a, a, like a glowy bronzer like this one like I've been using this one for the last few months but it wasn't in a project but I've made a big hole in it there and I'm quite happy to use that up if I want a matte bronzer instead of a glowy bronzer then I use that but in summer I quite like a glowy bronzer so yeah so yeah I probably do need to use some bronzer so I might I would put that in a project I think until I got down to what I can use comfortably, like my ideal lot. So probably only about three, I'm thinking, would be my ideal. But I'm not sure yet. Blush. I only used up two blushes, and one of them was in here. I think um, I would put those in a project possibly, but they don't go down very fast. And I do like to change my blush depending on the look that I'm going for. So... I would like to use up my cream blush because cream don't last that long. So I have been using this a little bit and summer's a good time to use it. Highlighters. I think if they're like a champagne colour, like just your, your normal coloured highlighter, I would put those in a project because I've got more than one now and I don't need more than one champagne. In fact, how many have I got here? One, two, three, four, three. So I've got three singles that are kind of a champagne colour. But I've also got some in palettes as well. So I would cycle through those and use them up. But the other ones, the coloured ones, I just, I like to just add... For a bit of fun, and I wouldn't be looking to use those every day. So, 
No shadow. I'm obviously way too ambitious for an eyeshadow. I don't think I want to pan a whole palette again. I think. And I'm, I haven't completely made up my mind, but I think what I would like to do is some of the ones that I've depotted. Can open it. I'm just, I've got three different palettes that I've got depotted stuff in. So stuff that I've depotted. I think what I'd like to do is pick a colour or two and use that up and get it out of my collection. And then just work on using all my palettes, like cycling through them and making sure I use them and use every colour in them is what I would like to do. So I'm going to think of how I want to set up a project like that and do it a little bit differently from what I did this year. What am I going to do for my project pans? I haven't completely decided yet, even though we're already halfway through February, because um, as I said, I'm just a month behind. But I, I have ideas in my head. I'm sort of, I'm still in the thinking stage. Okay, coming up my driveway. So that is my very belated project, team project pan, hashtag team project pan update and final thoughts. So it's going to be quite weird not doing it anymore, but we will see how we go. I've quite enjoyed the freedom of just using whatever I want. But I have to say, I do like having like a, a set kind of base, like a foundation, primer, powder, setting spray and to a certain and contour and kind of just that kind of basic stuff and the setting spray I don't know it's getting so hot in here I can't get it all <laughs> so I, I, I quite like having a set base so I can quickly do my makeup if I want to and it's all there ready to go so I don't have to think about oh what am I going to use today because it's all there and I know what I'm using from day to day so I do like having sort of that happening and those are all the things that I don't feel like I need lots of so I would be quite happy to cycle through those and use them up so thank you for watching I hope you're having a great day and I will see you next time bye